good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio. So today, we need to look at some news. And some of it's kind of lovely. There's a new Pokemon coming out, or new Pikachu card, to celebrate the opening of a new Pokemon Center over in Shibuya. Yay! But there's also some much weirder news. Let's start out with a weird news, shall we? As so often at the moment with a lot of this news, huge shout out to the lovely Primal Lugia over at PokerGuardian.com for helping us with the news, getting some of the images, etc. Lovely dude. Good website. So a new kind of Pokemon is coming to the Pokemon trading card game. A new game mechanic is coming, and it is a Pokemon you might not expect, featured as a Pokemon V on two never-before-seen foil cards and a giant oversized card. And if we have a little bit of a look at the contents here, it is two foil promo cards featuring a Pokemon V and one oversized foil card featuring a Pokemon V at impressive size and then five booster packs, but that's not what we're worried about today. So what we have here is two cards that combine to form one Pokemon. Now this in and of itself is not an entirely new mechanic. For a short period of time during the Heart Gold Soul Silver era, we did have Legend Pokemon. Now initially, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, we had Lugia and Ho-Oh. And then for a few sets, not for very many, but for a few sets we actually had a pair of Pokemon like Palkia and Dialga Legend. And what would essentially happen is you could only play these cards if you had both of the cards in your hand at the same time, and then you would play them down and they were essentially one Pokemon from there. Lugia and Ho-Oh only gave up one prize, but after that they were all double Pokemon, i.e. two Pokemon and one card, and then they started giving up two prizes. So that seems to be... I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same thing here, but certainly that might be where we're going with this. Now, it does say a new game mechanic, but, I mean, look, the last set where we actually got these legend Pokemon was Heart Gold Soul Silver Triumphant, which was released, at least over here, in November 2010. So, you're talking a good nine-year gap. Is that long enough to call it a new mechanic? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But I think it's fair to say at this stage that something is going on. The other thing that really needs to be mentioned here, it does not say which Pokemon it is. So, it's clearly an unrevealed Pokemon. Now, there is an outside chance that it's that V Max thing that was teased at Worlds, but I don't think that's the case. Now it might be, V Max looks like it is going to be an extra card that lays on top of an existing card, so maybe it's V Max, but I feel like they would be teasing that in the text of the reveal. It is probably a Pokemon we've not seen before. Now it says a Pokemon you might not expect, does that mean it's actually an existing Pokemon in a new form? Say, a Galarian form? Something like Surfetched, except not Surfetched. Or maybe Surfetched. Do, do, do you see where the confusion's coming in here? We have a lovely little tease, but we really don't have enough information to, 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 to make a really good approximation of what this actually looks like. My prediction is either an unreleased or Galarian form Pokemon coming out as two cards that go together, very much like the old Legend cards, but the reality is we're going to have to wait and see. While we're staying in Japan, Japan is getting a 7-Eleven, that's a big store over in Japan, limited special set starter set V-Flame. And basically I showed you all of the starter sets recently. And these are the V starters. And they had Pokemon like Regirock V and Tapu Koko V. And one of the ones I showed you was Victini V. 
Well, the good news is, ladies and gentlemen, that over in 7-Eleven, there is going to be a special version of the Victini V set. And it's pretty much what you would expect. Except you get it in a lovely box and you get it with lovely sleeves and that's about it. Now, what is very interesting is that we've not seen very much from these decks at all. I'm expecting, incidentally, in the next couple of weeks, we are going to see a lot more cards from the set. There should be a whole bunch of new Sword and Shield cards in the set, and we just haven't seen them yet. Now, we do know a couple of the cards in the set, so we know that we are getting Magnolia. And we know that we are getting Marnie because these are cards that have been previously revealed. Incidentally, I've done videos of them. I'll pop a link in the description. Now, Magnolia is just literally a reprint of Professor Juniper or Professor Sycamore. That is to say, discard your hand, draw a new hand of seven cards. It is a phenomenal card that is going to see a huge amount of play. Marnie is kind of like Judge in that both players put their hands face down, you draw five cards, your opponent only draws four, and then you put your shuffled hand on the bottom of your deck. Cool. Means you're not going to draw into the cards that you had in your hand that you could with something like Judge, but you also get one more card than your opponent. Now, as for Victini V, I actually like Victini V a lot. For two energy, bearing in mind this is in a format where we have Welder, you get to do 30 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. It's going to be a great, great tech in Fire Decks. And what is rather cool is that we've actually seen that Score Bunny card before. It's going to be in some of the Zacian Zamazenta sets. And it's actually the Score Bunny from Sword and Shield, as in the base set. Now, it's not a particularly good card, but, you know... We've seen the Score Bunny before. It's not actually a promo. Just comes out in the set. It's nice that we're getting it. Put it that way. Go Score Bunny! Although, incidentally, I've gone on record saying this, and I know I've angered a few people. Sorry, Joe. Score Bunny is the worst of the first partner Pokemon from the Gala region. I feel pretty comfortable with this. So, essentially, you get extra sleeves and an extra box. That's what you get. That's what's different. But it's also given us a tiny peek more at the v-dex i am assuming and this is not confirmed but i'm assuming that these v-dex are going to be entirely sword and shield cards which means the only cards we've seen from the v-dex are victini score bunny and then presumably the other two first partner as well and then professor magnolia and marnie now, do not expect these cards to leak before November the 15th. Incidentally, this set is coming out on November the 29th. Don't expect any more of the cards to leak before we actually get to the release of Sword and Shield. Or I suppose to put it another way, don't expect any cards featuring new Pokemon to leak. So maybe there'll be a new Beware card. Look at the lovely artwork. Hey, Beware. Or a new Gengar. But they're not going to show us any new Pokemon on cards until the game's release on the 15th of November. When I look at this artwork, I see Waylord, I see Beware, and I see an awful lot of joy because they are two of my favorite Pokemon. We are getting... Now, every set, there is a store-exclusive promo given out in a bunch of different stores in a bunch of different ways. Well, the good news is we know that this time around it is going to be Solgaleo. Now, we've previously seen cards like Garchomp, for instance. And essentially, however you got the Garchomp is how you're going to get the Solgaleo. Now, it is a Solgaleo from Cosmic Eclipse. And then the Solgaleo from Cosmic Eclipse is fine, right? It's not a particularly powerhouse card. I like it, but I don't think it's... um gonna set the format on fire if you've got lunala in play reduce damage done to any of your solgaleo and lunala by your opponent's attacks by 50 and you can do 180 and discard two energy it's fine it's nice it's a good little card but let's be clear it, it, it's not gonna set the world on fire still it's quite nice that we're getting this little promo we assumed that there would be a promo 
this is the one that we're getting. Cool. And finally, there is a new Pokemon Center opening up in Shibuya over in Tokyo. And there is going to be an exclusive Pikachu promo. But it's actually being given out at all the Pokemon Centers in Japan, not just the one in Shibuya. So essentially, even though it's celebrating the opening of the Shibuya Pokemon Center, it's being given out everywhere, presumably to try and steer people towards the Shibuya Pokemon Center. And it's basically graffiti chew because Shibuya is an area known for, well, graffiti art. Cool. It also shows us the logo of the Pokemon Center in Shibuya, focusing on Mewtwo and Mew. And it's not just the characters there around. If we look at the circle, there's a Mew at the top and there's a couple Mewtwo at somewhere around kind of like four o'clock and eight o'clock-ish. So, what does it do? Well, the good news is the lovely Antoine Boulet is over in Japan, speaks Japanese, and has been able to give us the translation. And for one colorless energy, both players reveal the top card of their deck and add it to their hand, which is fine. And for two lightning, one colorless energy, it does 80 damage, flip a coin if tails 20 to itself. Again, fine, but bearing in mind this is the same cost as Pikachu and Zekrom's attack, or the same cost as Raichu and Alolan Raichu's attack, or the same cost as Zero Aura's attack, or the same cost as the upcoming Tapu Koko V's attack, suffice to say, it is not going to be played. Not for that. And it is important to note, it is called Shibuya's Pikachu, so it will not evolve unless we get Shibuya's Raichu. Interesting to note, of course, it is another one of these new style cards. It has got the Sword and Shield stylings. That is to say that the... Weakness, resistance, etc. looks like the Sword and Shield card and it's got the little bit of white around the energy symbol. This is on the Sword and Shield template. And like all of the lightning cards we've seen on the Sword and Shield template, it doesn't have resistance to metal. Just like Tapu Koko V. Just like this other beautiful promo card. Suffice to say, it looks like lightning Pokemon no longer actually have resistance to metal, and that's kind of a big deal. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your news for your Sunday afternoon, or morning, or evening. As I say in the intro to all my videos, it really does depend when you're listening to this, and also what time zone you're in. But for now, I'd like to know your opinion on all of this news. Some of it's really big. The no resistance to metal on lightning Pokemon is pretty huge. And this new mechanic is pretty huge. Albeit we don't have a huge amount of info about it. So let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. Go nuts, but please do remember the rule. It's very important. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wasi plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.